Hi friends. I have a new book for us. It's called Mary Had a Little Lamb. We probably have sung this song in music class, but the story in this book is pretty different. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And uh, let's see what happens with this lamb. He has sort of uh, an adventure, I guess you could call it. <clears throat> and there's his friend, Mary. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Oh, she has her ABC book and lunchbox. I'll bet they're going to school. And then one day the little lamb decided to be free. And so it wandered off alone to see what it could see. So on one day it didn't follow her to school. It decided to wander off all alone. Hmm, I wonder what happened. Across the field up to the barn, the little lamb did stray. And there it met a big brown horse and led it out to play. So the lamb went to the barn and it let the horse out of its stall. Hmm, I wonder if that was a good idea. <clears throat> Let's find out. But when the gate was opened up, the horse went charging out. And in its dust, the little lamb went stumbling about. So the horse went running away, kicking up lots of dust and hay. Oh, the poor little lamb couldn't even stand up and knocked over a big bucket of maybe horse food. Hmm. I bet the little lamb wasn't expecting that. Ah, oh, there is an animal called a goose. It's much bigger than a duck and it makes a lot of noise. It bumped into a tough old goose and she was walking by. She flapped her wings and hissed and pecked, which made the poor lamb cry. Oh, he does not look happy, does he? No, because the goose hissed at him and pecked at him with her beak and flapped her wings. Oh, my goodness. All the lamb wanted to do was to make a new friend. I don't think the, the goose was being very friendly. What happened next? The cow woke up and knocked a pail right up into the air and gave the lamb a milky bath as it was standing there. So the farmer had milked the cow but left the pail of milk. The cow kicked it. Where did it land? Oh, on top of the poor lamb. Here's the goose that had just flapped her wings at him. Oh, and I think the donkey's laughing at him. That's not nice. Poor lamb. I'll bet he wishes he'd stayed with Mary now. The little lamb raced back outside, escaping, taking off. But as it ran, it tripped and fell into the water trough. That's a big container that the animals come to drink water from. Well, maybe he'll be clean. That wouldn't be a bad thing, huh? Except the lamb stood up and shook its fleece, but did not realize the old barn cat would surely get a very wet surprise. And I can tell you cats do not enjoy being wet. It can make them pretty grumpy. The cat let out a shriek so loud it gave the hens a scare and made them cluck and run around in circles everywhere. 
including on top of the lamb, who I'm sure wasn't expecting that. In the middle of this fuss, a grumpy groat goat came by and gave the lamb a mean old butt straight up into the sky. That means he, he uh, gave him a headbutt. And the poor lamb went flying into the air. And uh-oh, can you see where he's about to land? In the muddy pig pen. Oh no, after he just got all clean in the water. Into the pig pen fell the lamb and got completely stuck. Then all the way from head to hoof was covered up in muck. Oh, he won't be very white anymore. He's covered in mud. When Mary found her little lamb, its fleece was muddy brown. She cleaned it up with lamb shampoo and gently hosed it down. Oh, there's Mary's lamb. He's not very clean, but she gave him a bath with lamb shampoo, and he's much cleaner now. So, on this last page is what the song looks like when you write it out with musical notes. Mary had a little lamb. And this book and the new words were written by Isa Trapani. She also drew the pictures. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> Pretty silly story, wasn't it? I hope you liked it. <laughs>